Childline founder Dame Esther Anson, who's been battling advanced lung cancer, says her time is running out mm. to campaign for a vote on assisted dying. And during a phone call yesterday with Keir Starmer, the Labour leader, um, he said to her, if he's elected as Prime Minister, he would be in favour of changing the law. He would actually make sure that vote is held in the next Parliament. I'm running out of time in terms of my life. You're running out of time because we don't know when the election is yeah. going to happen. But if we are privileged enough to win the election, then we will make time for this vote. Well, as you can see in that shot, ITV News UK editor Paul Brand was there during the phone call and he joins us now. Paul, good to see you this morning. There's always something quite impactful about hearing Dame Esther Ranson speaking so openly about what she is facing. It, it lends such an urgency to this campaign. Yeah, absolutely. She's a household name, of course, and she's a well-loved household name, and that has a huge impact on the campaign. In all honesty, it's part of the reason why we're talking about it right now. She made an intervention at the end of last year saying she wanted to go to Dignitas to end her own life, and she felt that she shouldn't have to do that to go to Switzerland. She should be able to do that here in the UK. Keir Starmer is someone who supported assisted dying, actually, throughout his time and his career. He was, of course, Director of Public Prosecutions, did a big piece of work on assisted dying in that role, and has been supportive for several years. So it's not a surprise that he said to Esther Ranson that uh, he sympathises and empathises with her position. But what is a big moment is to have someone who could well be the Prime Minister after the next election saying that he will personally make time for a vote in the next Parliament and will be signalling very strongly to Parliament that he supports assisted dying. Yeah. What do you think, Paul, the way that the opinion polls, the way that public opinion is at the moment, what do you think MPs would vote if they were given the opportunity to? Because there was a vote, I think, held back in 2015, if I remember co correctly, but, of course, it wasn't passed. Mm. Has opinion changed since then? I think the one thing that has changed, actually, is political opinion. Public opinion has been quite steady. It's always been quite highly supportive of assisted dying, about 75 80%. We had some exclusive polling on Monday, the largest ever poll that's been done of people in the United Kingdom found 75% of people do support it. And that was uh, because it was so big, it could be broken down into constituency-level data. Every single constituency in Britain has a majority in support of assisted dying. But political opinion has always been a little bit out of step with public opinion. And as you say, there was a vote in 2015. It was defeated by two to one by MPs. But that is what has been shifting, I think, over time. Some MPs have said quite openly they've changed their mind since then. The makeup of Parliament has changed since then. It may well change again after the next election, possibly quite uh, substantially. So that's where the movement is now, not among public opinion necessarily, but among political opinion. Paul, it all comes down to, doesn't it, whether you can have legislation which makes this... Um, only applicable in the very narrow set of cases where somebody is clearly at the end of their life and suffering badly. And it doesn't open kind of wider worries that people who are getting older or might think they're a burden on their family could be um, encouraged or themselves think maybe, you know, it would be the right thing for me to do. That's where the MP's fears are, isn't it? That it would actually become a slippery slope. Definitely, and not just MPs. Lots of religious groups obviously have sincerely held views about the value of life. They don't want assisted dying. They think it devalues life. Also, you mentioned they're vulnerable people. There are a lot of doctors, actually, who oppose assisted dying. The British Medical Association quite recently, about three years ago, changed its position to a neutral stance, which is important, but even within the BMA, more senior uh, doctors, a lot of consultants, particularly in palliative care, are opposed to assisted dying. They think there are other ways of dealing with people's uh, end-of-life care that can uh, reduce their suffering, for example, um, and not risk vulnerable people feeling as if they have to explore the option of ending their life because maybe their family has pressured them into it. So there's a huge range of arguments here, and also from disability campaigners who say, what are you saying about our lives yeah. if you're suggesting that, that lives, when they reach a stage where perhaps people are struggling, aren't worth living anymore? It's a really, really difficult issue. It is. It's a very sensitive issue. Um, it, it looks like it, it might become a, a more 
mm. potential legislative issue if yep. the polls go the way that they're going and Labour get into uh, power. What an That's incredible right. achievement by Dame Esther Ranson. But, mm. um, Paul, thank you very much indeed right. uh, for your time this morning. And if you have been affected by any of the issues involved, because they are sensitive, they are challenging, uh, you might want to find advice and support at itv.com forward slash helplines. I think that vote um, was just after I came out of Parliament. Right. But in 2015, yes. I would have voted against. I would have would voted you? with the majority not to do this. I think with that... the majority of parliamentarians, exactly. but against the majority what? of public opinion. But then, but then, but then that is partly Parliament's yeah. role. And you know, there's always been a majority of people in the opinion polls say they're in favour of capital punishment, the death penalty, yes. but it was abolished, what is it, 50, 60 years ago, and it's not coming back because yeah. Parliament, there's no majority for it. I think now I would study this very carefully, but, you know, a bit like the BMA, um, I'm open-minded, but I'm quite worried about it. Yes.